I am Dr. Mahmoud Ashikali, medical specialist, associate professor at Islamic University Medical Faculty. Today we are going to examine the respiratory system. To examine the respiratory system, first you have to take permission from your patient after introducing yourself, then you ensure privacy and you position your patient. First you start general inspection and inspection of the chest. Then you do palpation of the chest, percussion and auscultation. You start from anterior part of the chest, then by the same sequel you do the posterior part of the chest to start with. السلام عليكم. السلام. دكتور محمد الشيخ علي. بدي افحص صدرك اليوم. اهلا وسهلا. نشوف برايفسي. اوكي. كشف صدرك. وين تو بوت بيشنت ات 45 ديجريز. سو يو هاف تو موف ات اب داون اب وورد. بوت هيز هاندز اسايد تو بي سين كلير. اند كم تو ذا اند اوف ذا بيد تو انسبكت ذا بيشنت از ا هوم. and to inspect the chest. You see the general features of body build, respiratory status, whether he this neck, the kip neck, etc. or not. You look to the left side of the chest especially to see any scar of the chest. You look to the chest of symmetricity, nipples, chest shape, and movement of respiration. You ask the patient to take a breath in and out. And you note the symmetricity and movement of the respiration and type of respiration, whether it's thoracic abdominal or abdominal thrust. We have done this. We come to the right side of the patient, the Hasidic. You keep your patient informed about everything you do, so you inform him about every step. Okay. You look for muscles. Skin, joints, anechymosis, features of muscle atrophy. You look for clubbing with the skin. You pass your finger over the nail to see whether it's clubbed. You turn his hands and see whether it's warm, signs of hypercapnia, etc., and whether it's primary edema or not. Rest the left hand, take the right hand. And count the pulse. While counting the pulse, put the watch between you and the patient's chest. So you count pulse first, then you count respiratory rate. You know the character of the pulse, whether it's pounding, especially important for COPD patient with hypercapnia, or low volume pulse. Ultimately, you go to count the respiratory rate and make sure the patient is unnoticed that. Okay. Then, you ask about blood pressure or you can measure it. It's very important as part of the examination. Then you look to the face. and abnormal features of forehead, eyes, cheeks, lips, and nose. Especially we look for eye for any proptosis, otosis, any um, abnormalities in the pupils, and we look for jaundice. You ask the patient to look downward and pull the upper eyelid upward, paralysis by hand, okay, to see whether they are in jaundice. Uh, one eye is sufficient at the time, telephone, and look for paler to see conjunctiva, whether it's pale or not. You look to the eyes, you notice any change in the pupil size to suggest Horner syndrome and proptosis, and you may need to examine the fundus to exclude papilledema, commonly seen in a patient with hypercapnia. Then you look to the nose, lateral size if there is an evidence of lupus preneum, and to the cheeks if there is any dilated capillaries to suggest pulmonary hypertension. You look to the lips for central cyanosis, and you ask the patient to open his mouth and to see whether there is any central cyanosis of the tongue or not. Lift the neck. Okay. Turn the neck to the Okay. No, no, I'll put it. Okay, okay. You see if there is any jaundice. 
حط لسانك في ساقي في حلقك تمام and you see whether there is any jaundice كمان مرة اوكي now you look to the dentation افتح تمك على الاخر افتح تمك على الاخر you look to see the poor dentation which could be a source for lung abscesses etc now we examine the mouth now we come to the neck ask the patient to look slightly to his left side and make sure that the neck is resting and look from the same level to the jugular venous pressure whether it's elevated or not see its pulsation and its level if it's seen ultimately we come to the palpation of the chest you look all over the chest again to make sure that you are not missing an abnormalities and you examine the trachea. To examine the trachea, it's better to sit the patient down or to remove this pillow. Okay, right. Okay, you put the base of your index finger over the sternal notch and the tip of your index finger over the trachea directly and you see the distance between it and two sternocleidomastoid muscles if the distance is equal that means it's a symmetrical and centrally located then you measure the distance between cricosternal distance you put the fingers and make sure you are not hurting your patient so warn him and could come via alarm please Okay. Ask him to take a breathe in and out to see whether there is any tracheal tag. Okay, there is no tracheal tag and the distance is normal. It's about three finger breadth, about five cm, so it's normal. Then you come to the epic speed as a part of respiratory system examination. First you inspect it, then you place your hand if you would be able to feel it. Ultimately, we come to the chest expansion. Ask your patient to look to the left side, take a breath in and out through his mouth. Nafas mitin mako tallo. Tallo. Hagit khod nafas kweis. Nafas kweis. La khod nafas kweis. Tallo kamil. Hagit. Dib sidra kawa. Khod nafas. Khod. Okay, and you notice the expansion. This below the nipple line, when you do it again over the nipple line. Okay. And you notice the movement bilateral. Now we are going to move to just percussion. You may need to do tactile fermitas, but this is an obsolete and you can replace it by vocal resonance. We stop percussion from the above clavicle you place your middle finger left side left hand middle finger firmly over the chest and you tap over it okay. over the clavicle you can tap directly or you can put your finger it's up to you i do prefer to put your finger because it may be painful Here we percuss to the sixth rep, then the gajnabic You ultimately go to examine for axilla. You notice whether it's dull, resonant, or hyper resonant, or stony. After completing percussion, we start auscultation. We start auscultation to the same points of percussion from above the clavicle and downward. Percuss the above the clavicle by the bill if you are stethoscope. Ask or use your patient to, the, to look to the other side. Give him any clear instruction. Okay. 
مثل طلع هي نفس تمام كمان خليك خليك هناك خليك طلع هناك خذ نفس وطلع من تمك تمام نفس كمان 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 خلي على جنابك على وسطك خلي على وسطك نفس نفس تمام ناو اكزام فور فوكال ريزونانس قول 44 احكي 44 44 كمان 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 44 Then you start your examination of the chest from back. You start again all over by inspection of the chest from both sides for any scars, abnormal puncture sites, any deformities of the spine. You pass your hand over the spinal uh, vertebral column to see whether it is there is uh, scoliosis or kyphosis. Then you start palpation of the chest. Oh, chest expansion. Take the hold حالك شوية. هيك زي ما بصلي. Yes. Take the hold نفس من تمك وطلع. هيك تخد نفس كويس. Okay. And you note the chest expansion. Again, خد نفس. طلع كامل. خد نفس كويس. Okay. Now we start percussion. We percuss the apex. If you don't, if you didn't examine the axilla from anteriorly, you have second chance to examine it from posterior point. Okay, so don't miss it. Now you ask it to the same points. خد نفس من تمك وطلعه. تمام. نفس كمان مرة كمان مرة كمان مرة كمان مرة اوكي كمان مرة كمان مرة كمان مرة If you ascultate crackles you have to ask your patient to cough and listen again كمان مرة Now you do vocal resonance. Good or bad pain? Come on, good or bad pain? Come on, 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 Then you examine for lower limb edema to see whether there is any pitting edema or not. You look to your patient's face, you place your hand, your thumbs by pulps, not by tip of your thumbs, and press gently and continuously to see whether there is any lower limb edema. And pass your hands. Okay. To complete your examination, you need to check respiratory uh, rate chart pulse rate chart, temperature chart, and pulse oximeter chart, and to perform peak expiratory flow rate at pit site. You thank your patient, shukran. You cover him and leave him as comfortable 
as you come to him. 